everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're on episode two of my Christmas baking series and we're going to be making a crock pot buffalo chicken dip. I will link the original recipe in the description box down below. Now there is modifications that are made to this recipe in order to make it gluten and dairy free. So let's go through what you're going to need to make this buffalo chicken dip. You're first gonna need one cooked rotisserie chicken. You're going to need three eight ounce packages of a plant-based cream cheese. Now you can use Daya, or I also get the coconut cream cheese that is from Las La Loblas or President's Choice Atlantic Superstore. You're gonna need two cups of a shredded cheddar plant-based cheese. I'm gonna be using Daya Mexican or Mex cheddar cheese three quarters of a cup of a buffalo sauce. I'm going to be using Frank's buffalo sauce and a half a cup of ranch dressing. Now I'll be showing you throughout the video that I'm going to be making my own, own homemade ranch dressing with the plant-based sour cream I also get at the Atlantic Superstore. For toppings, you can use a um, shredded cheese, some fresh chives or green onions, and then you're going to serve it with all of your favorite chips and vegetables. And voila! There we'll have our awesome buffalo crock pot chicken dip. Now that's a mouthful. So let's get to episode two of my Christmas baking series. So the recipe calls for one rotisserie chicken that's already cooked that you get at your grocery store, but because this is what I had at home, and I think maybe what I would prefer, I am cooking a package of eight chicken thighs sprinkled with salt, pepper, some smoked paprika, and garlic powder. And yeah, we're gonna cook those up and um, add them to our buffalo chicken dip. Okay, so now we are going to make our homemade, dairy-free ranch dip. We're going to start by adding two teaspoons of dried parsley. Then we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of thyme, dried thyme. Then we're going to add one teaspoon of dried onion flakes. And a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now, if you decide that you want your dip, like I guess, really strong, you can adjust the amounts that you have in here, but I'm just going by my recipe. And then we have an eighth of a teaspoon of salt and an eighth of a teaspoon of coarse black pepper. I'm then gonna add one cup of, or half a cup actually, of sour cream, dairy-free sour cream. So I get this dairy-free sour cream at our local Atlantic Superstore. And then we're also gonna add a half a cup of mayo and mayo is already dairy-free. So it might be good to make this in advance um, because I'm making this in advance and I'm going to have it chill in the fridge so that all of the flavors really come out and all the spices. Um, so yeah, just a heads up on that. So we're gonna add, sorry, we're gonna add a half a cup. Wrong measuring cup. Wrong measuring cup. A half a cup of dairy-free sour cream. I'm making a, making a mess.
And then we're also going to add half a cup of mayo. Lucky I was on the ball and got an extra container of mayo. So yeah, when making these recipes, always good to make sure that you have everything you need to be able to make them. And getting it open, I'm on the struggle bus. I am on the struggle bus. I'll be right back. of your favorite mayonnaise. Now you can definitely add a vegan mayo if you want to make this recipe vegan, but I guess you really can't because it's got chicken in it. Duh. Okay, so you're going to combine your, so you can see that, your plant-based sour cream and mayo with your... Now the recipe only calls for a half a cup of ranch dip. So this has a cup, so we'll have some extra for our veggies and stuff. So kind of like food prep at the same time. So we're gonna place this in the fridge and let chill for about an hour. While our ranch dip is chilling and our chicken is cooked, we're going to shred our chicken meat so that it is all ready to be added into our dip. And then I'm just gonna put this in a container and uh, set it aside until our ranch dip is chilled. Okay, now that we've got everything prepared, you're going to get out your crock pot. We're going to add in our chicken thighs or rotisserie chicken, whichever you decided to use. I have some leftover um, green onions that from our episode one, if you haven't got a chance to see that, I will make sure that I link it so that you can see the first part of our Christmas baking series. We're then going to be taking three of these Diet cream cheese spread. I have diced them up and let them soften. And then we're also going to be adding two cups of this Italian four cheese plant-based blend. So we'll add our plant-based cheese. We're going to add our plant-based cream cheese. We're going to add three quarters of a cup of our buffalo sauce. Ensure that you just pick your favorite gluten dairy free buffalo sauce. And then last but not least, we're going to be adding our homemade creamy ranch. And I just remembered I'm only supposed to add a half a cup, not a cup. So lucky I caught myself there. We're gonna combine this well, and you're going to let this simmer in your crock pot for three hours. So this is definitely a dip, a party dip that you are going to want to make in advance of serving. But we will come back and uh, show you what it looks like when it's all done. Once your dip has simmered in your crock pot for three hours, we're then going to serve it into our serving bowl. Now on the left here, you can see that we have our serving dish. We have diced up some carrots and celery, and we have some nacho chips and some rice crackers. So there we go. Then we are going to top with some green onions and voila there you have it gluten-free dairy-free buffalo chicken crock pot dip or buffalo crock pot chicken dip or crock pot chicken buffalo dip anyway you get my point looks delicious okay, now that we have our dip on our serving tray doesn't that look divine 
We're gonna give it a little taste test. Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm just, sorry for eating, talking with my mouth full. And it has just the right amount of heat. Now this is quite a bit spicier than the cran raspberry dip we made yesterday. But I think you guys are going to love this. If you make this, let me know how it turned out. So that's a wrap on episode two of my Christmas baking series, Crock-Pot Buffalo Chicken Dip. I will be sure to link the original recipe in the description box down below. And I will also add the recipe that I actually made to modify it to be gluten and dairy free. I will also add some extra videos at the end of this video that you can continue to watch if you enjoy my content and yeah so thank you so much for tuning in today be sure to like comment share and subscribe as it really helps support my channel and we'll see you again soon friends for episode three of my christmas baking series